Hello and welcome back. Let me start out by saying thank you very much to those of you who commented on my previous video. That was the first one that I'd shot in a couple of years and the reception to it was just overwhelming. So thank you very much, that was very kind. So today is January 12th and on my previous video I skied by the bottom of the Falcon chair because I saw that it was running but it wasn't actually open for skiers yet. Right now I am at the top of the Falcon chair and I am going to come down uh, basically the middle of peak 10. I'm going to take uh, Centennial to Double Jack and then I checked uh, from the chairlift ride on the way up to see what was open and it looks like both uh, six chair and the T-bar are open so I'm going to work my way over there. So I'm going to take this top of the Falcon down to the bottom of the Peak 8 Super Connect and then I'll pick it back up at the top of six chair and I will talk on the flat part between the bottom of the Falcon chair and the Peak 8 Super Connect about some of the ideas I have for this channel for the rest of the season but for today I'm going to shoot a video much like the last one which is just me out skiing for the day and piecing together a bunch of runs into one video. Let's go make some turns. And once again, I'm going to do a Centennial to Double Jack. So this next few hundred yards or so is one of the easiest runs. 
called Silverthorn. And I'm just working my way down to the bottom of the Peak 8 Super Connect. Take that up over to the bottom of 6 chair. I'm pretty sure that's running. That's what it showed on the website on the way up uh, the Falcon just now. And then I'll pick this video back up at the top of uh, 6 chair. But I'll just let the camera run in case you want to see this route from the bottom of the Falcon to the bottom of the Peak 8 Super Connect. This next little section up here is one that I mention often. We know it as Little Harry. It's actually the bottom portion of Red Rover. And this is the test right here that you want to make sure you're comfortable on before going to a blue run. And that's it. It's short, but just a little steeper than any of the greens coming into it. All right, so I'm going to cut it here, pick it back up at the top of six chair. So I got a chairlift to myself here on six chair and thought I'd take the opportunity to do a little bit of commentary. My previous video, I was testing to see if uh, YouTube would let me upload a 4K video of 20 minutes or more long, and obviously that did take. So that's the kind of thing I'm going to do more of, uh, including today. Today I just wanted to try out a run on peak 10 because I'd gone past the bottom of it in my previous video and it wasn't open yet. But today I'm going to stick mostly here on 8, 6 chair, and T-bar. So a couple of laps here on 6 chair, then over to the T-bar. And by the time I do a couple of laps over there, the shadows will be getting pretty long. And uh, the light just isn't very good for filming, so I'll cut it there. So I'm almost to the top of 6 chair. When I was riding the Falcon chair, the website showed that Imperial was closed, but... You can actually see that it is running. So I'm going to do one lap here on six, and then I'm going to take it up to the top of Imperial for at least one run. I just got off of the top of six chair right there, and I'm going to ski underneath six chair. I'm going to take it down to either the Snowbirds or Amen. When I come back up, I'll go down to the Imperial chair that way. Let's go make some turns. So, Amen is usually groomed. Oh, no, mine, I missed it to the right. That didn't sound real good.
All right, so that six chair top to bottom. I'm gonna pick this back up at the top of Imperial. All right, Wendy ride on Imperial chair. Tops right up that way. And I am gonna come down Imperial Bowl. The easiest route would be to keep going skiers right. The GoPro picks up the uh, rope line down there, but to the, to the far right of the bowl, I usually like to take the line straight down towards those rocks right there and just to the left of them underneath the chairlift. So either way, Imperial Bowl, and I'm gonna take this back down and probably do it again. Let's go make some turns. That was nice. Let's go do it again. So as soon as I hit record for my second run down Imperial Bowl, my camera battery died and it was too cold and windy up there for me to switch the battery out standing there at the top of Imperial Bowl. So I didn't get that one filmed, but I am now on the T-Bar and I am going to try to get one more run in down Horseshoe Bowl. I know I'm running out of uh, good sunlight, but uh, I'm going to try to shoot one run down Horseshoe Bowl and then we might see what else looks good uh, that's got some more daylight on it. So uh, we'll pick it up as we start to make some turns down Horseshoe Bowl. And let's go make some turns. I still have a little bit of daylight. Or I should say sun, not in the shadows. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just trying to stay in the sun by going left. Not bad. First run down Horseshoe Bowl for the 2021-22 season. That was pretty nice snow for uh, January 12th. All right, and from here, I'm going to start working my way back over towards uh, the village, which is where I always start and finish my day. So I'll just leave the camera running.
So I'm coming across uh, Springmire right now. This is the easiest blue run on the mountain. That's a question I get asked a lot. So that was Springmire behind me. This is middle four o'clock. So I will keep this running, but really I'm just uh, working my way back to the bottom of the Quicksilver, which is the village base area. So I think if these uh, longer videos are of interest, I will keep shooting them, uh, particularly during the early season. Once we get a little later in the year and the sun is higher in the sky and I get better light to shoot in, I plan on reshooting some of the runs that I've already done. So for those of you that are new to this channel and haven't looked yet, uh, if you take a look at the playlist for this channel, you'll see about, uh, well, over a hundred different individual runs, uh, which have been filmed with some commentary. And uh, that was the main focus of this channel up until this year. But I think this year I wanna shoot more like this where I just go out and ski for the day, make some videos along the way. But then once we get into more of the middle of the season, I'll reshoot some of those individual ski runs. I'll shoot some that people have been asking for, like Needle's Eye is a big one. Uh, Needle's Eye, some of the lake shoots, uh, Hike 6, some other things that people have been requesting over the time. So I'm just going to fast forward through this. But yeah, I'm getting ready to call it a day today. Sun's getting low, shadows are getting long. I'm getting hungry. And I usually like to be off the mountain and get a couple errands done in town before the mountain closes. And uh, then all that skier traffic starts uh, creating, you know, just slower driving around town. So it's Beaver Run on my left, and I'm coming up uh, to be under the Quicksilver chairlift, which finishes at the bottom at the village. And just because of where I live, that's where I always start my day so i'll go ahead and cut it here i hope you like that if you did please give it a thumbs up and once again thank you very much for your very kind comments from the uh, previous video and uh, i'll see you again on the next one